just doing another quick video. Um, I just wanted to let you know that there is a way that you can get car insurance for a vehicle that is your own in your own name, even if you do not have a driver's license, your license is suspended, revoked, um, never had a license, only have a learner's permit. Yes, all of the above, you can still get car insurance. You can still buy a car and actually get car insurance. Now, um, a few months ago, I had helped um, a gentleman that lived in my apartment complex. He was a Haitian immigrant, and he had other Haitian friends, whatever, um, and, you know, I always wondered how they become self-sufficient. Well, the apartment complex I lived in, they um, housed a lot of um, the immigrants from the earthquake in Haiti. So, yeah, there were a lot of them. And I was doing a little bit that I could to help them. So anyway, I was trying to help my one friend purchase a car, get a job, things like that. So a few of his other friends had already bought a car. And I asked him, well, how do they do that without having a license first? And his English was broken at the time. So I couldn't even understand what he was saying. But he did emphasize that his friends purchased a car without having a driver's license. And I'm like, no, that's, that's impossible, that's impossible. So anyway, I do my best to help him buy a car. We go to a car lot and he was able to buy a car. I had to drive it off the lot for him because he did not have a driver's license. He only had a learner's permit. So he needed to purchase insurance course before he could drive off the lot so I keep telling him hey look in America you have to have a driver's license first and you know then you buy a car then you get car insurance and he's like no 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 my friends bought a car then they got their learner's permit and driver's license and insurance and you know then driver's license later I'm like no 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 that's wrong so anyway make a long story short we're in the car a lot and he pays cash for his car. He didn't make any payments or anything. He just paid cash for it. And the dealer was like, okay, yeah, we need proof of insurance. So, you know, I'm calling around to a lot of different insurance companies and going according to what he told me. Now, I have bought several cars throughout my 30 plus years of, you know, well, actually 16 years of driving. Anyway, so I had never heard of this. You know, anytime I ever bought a car, I call up you know, the major insurance companies and get a quote, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we're sitting at the dealership and I'm calling up Progressive. I'm calling up Geico. I'm calling, you know, direct. And I'm getting told no, no, no. Because I asked them, hey, do you insure unlicensed drivers if a driver just has a learner's permit or no license at all? And they're like, no, no, no. Sorry, we don't. We don't do that. <laughs> So I told him, I'm like, hey, look, we can't do this. He's like, yeah, huh, yeah, huh, yeah, huh. So he calls his friend, and his friend's like, just go online on progressive.com. Now I felt like a fool because I've been with Progressive for years, and I didn't know this. So anyway, his friend suggested to go on progressive.com. You know, don't talk to a live person on the website, go online. And what I have learned since then is that you can do a number of things online from insurance websites that you just are not able to do by talking to a live person on the phone. So anyway, we go on progressive.com and there it is. Yes, you can do a number of things. And I even made uh, another video on how you can add a vehicle to your car insurance policy even though your insurance is pending cancellation. So yeah, subscribe because whenever I find out information, I let my subscribers know. What's going on? So anyway, here we are at progressive.com. As you can see here, I think. Okay, hopefully. Yeah, so I've already started this. I typed in a name and address and, you know, vehicle. And now I'm here to drivers. So this is where you choose, you know, gender, male, female, marital status, primary residence, blah, blah, blah. Um... Yeah, right here. Current U.S. license status. Okay, the choices are valid, permit, suspended, permanently revoked, <laughs> expired, not licensed, commercial and business, or a foreign driver's license. Yes, 
I'm not sure if you could actually see that, but I'll say it again. Um, they have an option here for current U.S. license status, valid permit, suspended, permanently revoked, expired, not licensed, commercial, business, and foreign driver's license. Yes, those options are not there for, I mean, those options are there for a reason. It's not just to be there or whatever. Yes, you can get um, car insurance, and it's still, in my mind, just still unbelievable, but it does work because... Like I said, my friend's English was not that good. So when we went on the progressive and, you know, we filled out the information and I chose that he was, um, he had a permit, a uh, driver's license permit, and he hadn't even had it an entire year. So, yeah, so we finished the steps and I know this works because I, well, I didn't pay for it for him, but I input all his credit card information for automatic billing and for the email address I put my email in and every month you know they would send me a notice and say oh yeah you know your monthly payment is getting ready to come out of your um, account blah 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 now here's the other thing um, for the quote for my friend he was like 32 years old at the time I think and he had his learner's permit for less than a year and he was still, like I said, given car insurance. Well, a month after he bought his car and, you know, had car insurance, he got into a little fender bender accident. I'm like, oh my gosh. He didn't want to tell me because he was like scared or whatever, but it came to my email because like I said, when I signed him up for car insurance online, I input my email address so that I can um, communicate with him as to, you know, what was going on or whatever. So... Of course, it came to my email and it's like, yeah, you know, we're calling or we're letting you know about claim number such and such for the accident. So I call him up. I'm like, oh, yeah, you got an accident, huh? And he's like, yeah, it wasn't bad, but, you know, um, I had to let the car insurance people know. So anyway, I'm telling you that because considering that he only had a loaner's permit for under a year, got into a car accident, his insurance policy only went up by maybe like... 30 bucks a month. When he started, his um, monthly payments were like, I don't know, $110, $115. And then after the accident, it went up to like, I don't know, like 130 bucks. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so this does work. And I'm sorry I'm rambling, but yes, you can get car insurance if you do not have a driver's license. You can add vehicles to your policy if you do not have car insurance you can change your address even if your policy is in cancellation period and different addresses do make a difference in premium uh, costs that's something to research uh, yeah so give it a try it does work with progressive.com I've had other car insurance companies but I'm not certain how lenient they are as if when you don't have a driver's license but progressive is and it will only work online because I've tried adding a vehicle to my insurance policy while it was pending cancellation over the phone and they told me no you need to make a payment first well I immediately went online and I did it with no problem same thing with adding a driver or whatever you can do all of this stuff online that you cannot do over the phone and I'm thinking if this works for car insurance, more than likely it works for a number of other things. So give it a try. Good luck. Bye.